Virtual Machine Zero, can you crack this black box? We grab this design doc from enemy servers. We know the rotation of the red axle is input, the rotation of the blue axle is output. The following input gives the flag. Rotating the axle that number of times is obviously not feasible. Can you model the mathematical relationship between red and blue? Okay, so when we look at the design, it's this DAE file. And so I Googled DAE file and it told me that I would be able to open that with Blender. So I went ahead and installed Blender on my machine. We've got this crazy long number, which is the rotation of the red axle. All right, so. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of this cube and I will import a Collada thing and I need to go to downloads. All right. It was like super duper tiny. So let's see if I can zoom in. Scale, maybe scale will work. Well, it's getting bigger. All right, what do we have here? We have some crazy Lego thing going on. Well, maybe I can get rid of some of these parts. Can you rotate it? Let's see if oh, that part looked important. I got rid of the base. I guess I don't care about the base. Oh, okay, now let me see inside. Uh, it's a little hard to see what's going on here like some gears. It looks like I totally made that gear ginormous. Uh, let's see if I can get rid of some more parts that will help me. And that part looks important. That part's definitely important. If I can just move that part. That was kind of exciting. So I have a gear there. So I have a red gear. I got that one out. Let's see if I can get this blue gear out. All right, so I have a red gear attached to a blue gear. Let me see about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight cogs in the blue gear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So it looks like there's forty cogs on that. So if I have forty cogs here and I rotate that once, it's gonna rotate my eight gear five times. 
All right, so if we take this crazy big number and we'll come over here and we'll multiply by five, that's decimal. Let's try to look at that number in hexadecimal. Because often flags are just hexadecimal strings. We'll copy that and stick it over here and convert that. So we get Pico CTF gears of more. All right, so there you have it. Basically, we tore apart this model, found the gear ratio, and we're able to define what the output would be given the input.